I love the idea of the history of art and technology and how the two things relate. I've always been fascinated with the idea of creating the diorama and this false world that represents a view of reality but is created as a hyper real world. Grasshopper came from extremely modest means and despite that he was able to turn that around and make something beautiful and, and moving. This month at Bruno de Vigar in Clayton I'm showing an exhibition of new painting by Carmen Colangelo. The series is called Infinite Abstraction. In a new media room, Barry Anderson is showing four shot videos from a series titled Fragments of Space. In the project room, a series of drawings from the collection of Paul Ackman, who is a collector from New York City, and the drawings are by Grasshopper. Also, Window on Foresight is presenting a sculpture by Frank Schweger. You can see the sculpture 24-7 at 7513 Forsyth Boulevard. Many artists over centuries have developed notions about freeing the subconscious and like the surrealist use the idea of chance. And I'm really interested in operations that create surprise and renewal in a sense and unexpected collisions or mashups of ideas and histories. I've been exploring the notion of what a painting is because these are digital ink on canvas and all the original images are developed by hand drawing on paper and ink or watercolor or oil paint on a surface, sometimes it's paper, sometimes it could even be glass, in order to then photograph or scan the image. Then I take it in the computer and usually I have hundreds of digital files and then everything from there is generated by kind of set of systems that I've created, maneuvers in a way, to manipulate and warp and change the perspective. And I think all artists work with the tools of their time and sort of the experiences we encounter. And I want to make paintings that are expressive and that really have a kind of mystery, but a sort of sense of our past and present all at once, and maybe even our future. I actually had a dream about this really minimal, sort of blank space and I woke up the next morning and it was still kind of lingering and I decided to build one out in the software and toy with it and I became really fascinated with creating spaces like this. The videos on view right now with Bruno are digital animations from a series called Fragments of Space which I've been working on for about three years now and they're all created architectural spaces that the viewer kind of experiences as fly-throughs. These are by far the most visually minimal works I've probably ever made but they're also some of the more emotional. He went by Grasshopper. That was his identity and that's how he referred to himself. I first met Grasshopper about 20 years ago. At the time he was in his early 50s, he had found a, a, a large bulletin board that had been thrown away out back and he had asked me if he could have it and I was like, oh, of course, sure. And so he, he took it and he made this incredible painting and, and it was a very large piece and I was just amazed by it. And so I, I ended up actually hanging it in my lobby at work. He came from extremely modest means. And so I just started buying uh, boards for him to, to uh, create on. And as he would make each piece, then he would give it to me and I hung it in my office. And after a while, we just, just kind of off the hand, uh, dubbed my office the Grasshopper Gallery. There's definitely comic book influences. There was always just a little kernel of something that was genuinely happening in his life and he just kind of grabbed that kernel and ran with it and built upon it. There are so many things hidden in his work. It's amazing what you will see in those different pieces.